It's important for the world to change. Hand production moving onto machines, improving water power, the development of tools and steam power, growth of population, immigration across the world. It shaped mankind. This changed our society. The Industrial Revolution. We are Genevieve Mallet and Raphael Schultz. Our goal as historians is to understand water pollution and the Industrial Revolution and how the Ganges in India is going through a similar process. We will explore impacts of pollution on humans, the amount of sewage that runs through streets, the efforts to save the Ganges from the poisonous substances that flow between its muddy banks, the actions Londoners took to save their families from its terrible fate. We will learn that the devastating effects of the Industrial Revolution had on the Great Lakes. In 1852, the London Board of Health tried to eliminate cesspools. A cesspool or a cesspit is a kind of holding tank for sewage in London. It forced water companies to move their intakes upstream and regulate filtration and storage of water. The drinking water did improve, but the Thames was still being hit by 260 tons of raw sewage a day. In 1858, there were cesspits all over London. Because of the increase in population, the resulting stench was called the Great Stink. One problem was the introduction of more modern flush toilets. Even though these were a step forward on the chamber pots that most Londoners had previously used, they dramatically increased the volume of water and waste that now poured into the existing cesspits. The cesspits often overflowed into the streets. Drains originally designed to cope with rainwater were now having to cope with outfalls from the factories, slaughterhouses and other activities, contaminating the city before emptying into the River Thames. Because of this repulsive environment, the citizens of London frequently caught cholera. Cholera was a greatly feared disease. Caused by contaminated water, it could spread with speed and devastating consequences. Because of this, it was named King Cholera. Many people believed that bad odors carried the disease into their houses and their bodies, and complaints to the authorities were made about the sewer smells infiltrating their homes. But they were wrong. The cause was not the smell, but the fact that sewage was being allowed to come into contact with drinking water and contaminating it. As many people used the river water as their source of drinking water, a disease spread with ease. Plans for a central drainage system were obstructed by ignorance and the dislike among London's local parish councils for the idea of a centralized authority or system of any kind. In the end, Joseph Bezlaget, who was a civil engineer, was responsible for the project that took about 16 years, from 1858 to 1874 to complete. Cholera was by then a thing of the past, and the general health of the population improved spectacularly. London's example of building aqueducts, sewer systems, and treatment plants was soon followed by the other cities, making an urban environment much cleaner. In over a hundred years, many things still happen. Many people and organizations across the world have tried to save the Ganges. This mighty river is being polluted by over 500 million people. Each day, 400 tons of solid waste are thrown into the river by factories and humans that live around her. In over 100 years, many people have tried to change the way people treat this majestic watercourse. The National Ganga River Basin Project has been trying to clean up the Ganges, but repeated efforts to decrease pollution in the river have repeatedly failed. The vast river is used in everyday life. The Ganges is used for washing, cleaning, drinking, growing food on the banks, and it is used for religious ceremonies, including the disposal of the dead. It is the life source of India. Even though the river is widely used, its water can be extremely dangerous. Scientists and religious leaders have looked at the efforts the river can cause and found out that in the Ganges, you can get waterborne bacteria such as dysentery and cholera. Cholera can cause dehydration quickly. When dehydration is severe, it can cause serious health problems if it is not treated. A person may have seizures and kidney failure. People who don't get the proper medical treatment may even die. Industrial pollutants from the tanneries at Kampur are also blamed for cancer among villagers downstream. People are still fighting for to save the, this liquid goddess. Television and radio stations across the world are spreading the news to save the river. Millions of people need this river to survive in their everyday lives. What would they be without it? It is about to us to save the Ganges. She has fed us and washed us for many years. We must give back to her what we took away. 
video was made to raise awareness about river pollution and how it affects us. Even the smallest things like keeping a Mars bar wrapper in your pocket instead of throwing it into the river can help us save our precious waterways.